Very closely match, only one year age difference, slightly higher, taller is uh, is Gabriel Almeida, but in terms of weight, they're almost identical. And we are underway in this 185 pound middleweight match. Let's go. In the black and white rash guard is, well, excuse me, the scoreboard is actually uh, showing the wrong, answer, uh, wrong information right now, but there's a big takedown there from Guilty, we'll see. guilty attempt here. Man, you know, he got deep in on that single. He's still on it, rolling through. But Gabriel Almeida, excellent defense there in grabbing that yep, neck. Yep, yep. That was a nice guillotine. There was a lot of pressure on Andrew's neck there. But well, I mean, Andrew backed out of it and rolled. That's how you know it's dangerous. Good defense. I mean, uh, that was, I mean, I basically forced Andrew to not go guard in this one. So if he lost <laughs> on a quick guillotine, I would have no, felt stop, very bad. Stop, stop. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Going to reset in the center of match, uh, center of the mat. Go back down. But yeah, you know Almeida, he's got the uh, the black and white rash guard on. But uh, he's the underdog in this match. And okay, fair enough, he's the number nine ranked middleweight, whereas Wiltsey is number seven in the rankings. But let's talk a little bit about the history because they fought twice before in the same day at Nogi Pans a few years ago when they were still brown belts. And they were actually one and one with Almeida winning by submission and with Wiltsey winning by points. So there's a lot on the line in this match. Not just the rankings, but there's also there's a personal element. They both are going to want to really come out of this with it, knowing that they are superior to their opponents. How do you think they score that, that first exchange? Because it's like the Nicky Ryan PJ Barge dilemma, right? It's like, yeah, Gabriel Connor with the guillotine, but it never happens if Andrew doesn't initiate the action. So how do you think this thing scored right now? Personally, I lean towards the counter wrestling in that sense, because, you know, the, the danger of the submission attack, I think, was more significant than, than the attempt from the wrestling. But it's a very good question. Uh, every judge sees it differently, right? Andrew's got to be offensive from his guard. He, can, he can't let this. Uh, Turn into a, a slow paced match like a guy with PJ Barch. He's got he's to get after it and get on top here. Maybe even a better strategy would be get to get up and away and get back to his feet. And I mean, it looked like he could, he could out wrestle him easy, so if I, standing up would probably not be a bad idea. Andrew does like to wrestle up from guard, though, is one thing we covered quite a bit when we did that episode of Fix My Game. And uh, he's very, very crafty in the ways he gets those entries. But he did mention that he also likes to play guard with his back flat on the mat and that he finds it a very hard position for players to pass but he does have to sit up at some point to initiate a sweep so it's a bit of a tricky scenario here yeah, a lot of time to work with here i like the way that almeida is setting up those uh the leg control and he's like looks like it's passing across for a leg drag of course you can easily sit into a heel hook from that position as well and the word is the word is from our uh, our our staff who have visited the Checkmat HQ to go and witness the training sessions there is that Almeida is one of the main guys on the team who's really made an effort to learn and develop those kind of leg locks because you know modern jujitsu leg locks especially in the nogi it's such a huge part of it and he's one of those guys who has made an effort to study uh, the leg locks so will we see him go for a heel hook attack? I mean a lot of that comes just with. Uh, sheer experience, you know, uh, Gabriel competed 35 times in 2020 and Gi and no Gi, but that really gave him a lot of insight into what was working and what the highest level people were doing. So he's definitely brought that back and workshop that back at Checkmate HQ. And don't forget as well that Almeida, he is an ADCC veteran. He won ADCC trials and he did that and he scored four consecutive heel hook wins in that tournament back in 2019. So. You know, I think that Andrew definitely has to be cautious, you know, he, he's... Whoa, oh, huge jumping yeah. <laughs> pass attempt there. Man, Almeida pulling the trigger there. But I feel in this case, I feel that Andrew Wiltsey can't afford to stay on his back because he spent 14 and a half minutes playing guard against PJ Barch in a match that he wasn't particularly satisfied with the result. And he can't allow this match to go the same way. Oh yeah, he's got to get on top sooner or later. I mean, he's got a great arm drag. He can wrestle up from there. But, uh, yeah, Gabriel is probably going to be winning when we get to 10 minutes. So Andrew's going to have to get on top sooner or later. Almeida, a diving guard pass attempts. We haven't really seen any real forward attempts. They're a little side to side now. A little more pressure, but... The same thing, isn't it? We've discussed this in the judging criteria and what we want to see. We want to see the top guy as well. Really, the onus in, in, in Nogi, especially, you know, when you when you come into a match like this, you've got to be the one to try and pass. You've got to try and initiate. If you just stay a, a distance, well, you're not doing anything. And it, 
And you know, if he spends too long there, we could potentially see him get called for stalling. There was Andrew. Andrew tried to work a uh, arm drag off those analyzed fingers over there. I mean, he's got a great arm drag, but you can tell Gabriel's aware. I mean, like he said, these guys have been fighting since what blue or purple belt. Coming up shortly here is our first judge's favor and get a little more insight into how our judges may be viewing this because it certainly is a very close match. Yeah, I mean, all the action was in that first minute right there <laughs> and it's settled down since then. So let's see if the judges' memories will will stretch back that far because, you know, especially in, in matches as long as these, the most recent thing is usually what you remember. But so far they are leaning towards Gabriel Almeida. The judges favor blue. And I'm not surprised given that guillotine attempt, I'll be honest. I would say it's definitely the most decisive thing thus far, right? You weren't sure what was going to happen immediately after that, but it's turned into a, a little bit of a slower pace, cautious exchange of techniques here. A little bit too much interlacing fingers in this match for me. I mean, we got to get going with some action here. Yeah, we need some forward motion Stop. possible. Oh, okay. You guys doing this for the almost a whole match? If you keep on the same thing, we'll have to start giving penalty for you. Okay, so this All is right. our first so official warning. Yeah. Gabriel Martins has Fight. said. I agree, they gotta get to work. That, yeah, that he's gonna start giving penalties if they don't start working. And now you can immediately see the dynamic has changed. Immediately, okay, there is a fire has been lit under them. And this is very different jujitsu. Yeah, great, great move by a referee because the game has certainly opened up. Well, five minutes into a 15-minute match, if they start slowing down like that, then, you know, it could dictate the pace of the rest of the match. And truth be told, we can't afford to see that. This is professional jujitsu. This is professional nogi grappling. And a 15-minute match, if you want to try and win that on one exchange in the very first minute of the of the match, well, you've got no business here on who's number one. I mean, if I was Andrew, I'd stand up. He looked a far superior wrestler the, uh, on the feet. So if he stands up, I mean, he's got a better chance than playing from guard like this. Much more aggressive there from Wilton, trying to get in underneath via the butterfly Ooh, guard. nice passing but attempt there from Gabriel, but both kind of countering one another very deftly there, Hal. Very evenly matched, very physically similar. They both got, both got very similar uh, kind of builds. And I mean, strategically, uh, maybe a slightly different approach. But in terms of jujitsu, they are so closely matched to the, the level here, I mean, I guess that's what happens when you have the number seven ranked up against the number nine ranked. The margins are so, so slim. Almost halfway through this match. I do feel like Gabriel's picked up the pace since that warning uh, took effect. I feel Andrew has too. Yeah, I think I agree with you, Mike. I think that Andrew here, that, oh, it's a very aggressive little collar tie there from Almeida. I feel that Andrew here, if he's content to stay on his back like this, I mean, he still hasn't initiated anything substantial enough to, to really stamp his authority on this match. He needs to get up, he needs to get after yeah, it, right? Strategically, I mean, he was able to get in on the leg in a couple of seconds. I mean, I would get him get back up and wrestle again. If he just doesn't give up, give up the guillotine there, then he's on top, then we get to see you know, the buzzsaw passing he talks about. But it seems like... Uh, it's going to be a lot harder for him to get on top of the guard. Very interesting when you look at the corner of Andrew Wiltsy, his, uh, his famed uh, coach and mentor, Heath Pedigo, is uh, unfortunately not able to come tonight. But he has big Orlando Sanchez in his corner instead, the ADCC champion. That's not a bad corner to have in a match like this. There's a bad champ bigger over there. A little attempt at the dummy sweep there from... Andrew Wiltsy, that butterfly guard, so effective. He basically said he copied everything good from Marcelo Garcia. So if his butterfly guard looks familiar, then that, that's where you will know it from. His guard recovery is phenomenal as well. I mean, you, you, you had the opportunity to roll with Andrew, right? Chase through the episode of Fix My Game. Did you manage to spend any time on top? Or? <laughs> 
How dare you even ask that question? <laughs> Look at this. Okay, hold on. This is knee bar bump. attempt. Knee bar attempt from Almeida. This might be okay. That's a good. That looks this good. This is a good knee bar attempt. Here's line. an opportunity for Andrew to come on top. It may be out of this as well. We've seen Gabriel heel hook people before too. He had a solid extension on it, but it looks like that Andrew was able to get his hand inside, which this, is This a, is Andrew's opportunity. Get on top yeah. off of this exchange and start working. There we go. But he's certainly down at this he's point. He's down, yeah. mode, without question. He's got to stay on top of Gabriel if he wants to win this thing. Smart work there from Almeida in fighting I mean, his way back to his feet and not conceding the bottom position from that exchange. And as you said, he comes out of that Let's way see how ahead. This goes. Way ahead. A decisive submission attack like that and coming close to getting hyperextension in the knee. The judges definitely see that. Gabriel's winning this for sure, but it's still you know up for grabs. And I think this exchange here on the feet could really determine how things go. Almeida looks focused, he looks wide awake, his eyes are, are wired, focused, so really right there in the middle of Andrew's head. He's like so amped for this, and there was a big arm drag from Wiltsy, but a counter arm drag from Almeida. All right, judges favor, let's see which way they go on this one. I wanna see what the judges favor, we're just waiting for that decision to come through. It is still blue. So if things keep going in this direction, Almeida could take the win here. Well, let's see, because Wiltsy still has time to work. He's got four minutes and 30 seconds. Intention is key here. Any thoughts, Chase, on the match so far? I'm liking what we're seeing here from Andrew. He's starting to get a little more aggressive, changing levels. But Almeida has stopped him at every every turn here. Really has a good answer for Andrew's wrestling, for his arm drags. Gabriel appears to be breathing pretty heavy right now. So explosive in on the single leg. This is good from Wiltsy, but an amazing turn from Almeida in shutting down that wrestling attack. Wiltsy's really, really Great pushing the here. pace here, though. We have three minutes left. You would have liked to have seen a little bit more of that aggression, I think, uh, earlier in the match, but... When they weren't so slippy, maybe? Yeah. I mean, Andrew's got to gotta pour it out now. He's got to apply the pressure. He's got to, what, what is it, three and a half left? Will we see Almeida initiate the takedown here? So far, his counter-wrestling has looked absolutely on point. Everything that Andrew has gotten after, it's come close, but Almeida just doesn't give up. And there's another beautiful. Oh, he finishes this takedown now. Oh, into the knee sucks. Knee sucks. Oh my control. God. Oh, oh my. This is it. This is big. Last three minutes now. Andrew Wiltsy in the driver's seat. This is his chance to finish this match. Can he get it? That was an incredible sequence. He's got a lot of time to work. I, th I, I think he's winning off a single leg. To just like, obviously, I'm a, I'm a biased here, but uh, I, I think he's got it right now. And he's got a great position with that arm isolated. He's talking to Spatchy right now. What can he do from this <laughs> position is the key because, of course, a takedown is big. Side control is big. But what you do with it matters. Will he go for a submission from here? Oh, he's the mount. into the mount. Almeida tries for the bridge. Tries oh, it's to the He's on the back. Oh, my. This is what Wiltsy likes the most. He's got a savage rear naked choke. Almeida is doing his best to defend the back. We saw he's got phenomenal back defense, as we saw in his match with Nicky Ryan. What a, both hooks are in. What a come from behind rally by Wiltsy here in the last four minutes of the match. This is incredible. Oh, he's, he's, he's isolated the arm. The he's, he's isolated the, the arms. It's tough to see, but he, that arm is trying to work under the chin. He's got going the thumb for going. The one arm rear naked choke. The arm is finding its way Panda under the chin. Can Panda he Express. Get the Here we come. Panda Express, baby. Get the finish. Big Owen Spatsy going wild in the corner. Oh, great performance by Gabriel Mayba. Great come from behind victory by Andrew Wilkes. That was a, a swing of momentum. Great match. Yeah. Crap, he really man. poured it on in the last few minutes. Uh, that's exactly what I wanted uh, to see out of Andrew tonight. That was classic Andrew Wiltsey, the back take, the arm trap, the one arm rear naked choke into the finish. <laughs> Wiltsey with the submission in the match, a hard fought match. <laughs> hey! And you're